Hi there. All right. Let's um, let's do some motion stuff. Um, so I'm going to just show you uh, the you know basic motion move here. Uh, let's head over to the patcher, and then let's add. Uh, you know, we're just gonna have it move with a knob. You can do this with node inputs as well. Um, but uh, uh, input MIDI knob input, and then let's look at it in the inspector channel. Uh, let's do 16. That's our motion channel. So um, I'm not messing with the song when I'm twisting my knobs. And do knob number one. The encoders on uh, the OPZ are one through four. Um, let's turn off damp spring for now. And then head back over to this and let's create a filter float filter float filters basically kind of allow you to um, control the value of stuff so put that in there and then let's look at the float filter in the inspector all right um, and let's let's give it some amplitude. Let's give it five. Um, and then we'll head back over here and uh, create conversion component vector. Uh, and then we'll add our output to the Y. We'll make it move up and down. Um, and then let's give it an output uh, component transform out. Connect that to the position. And let's make sure I'm on the visual channel here. Yep. <clears throat> And it doesn't work because, as usual, I forgot to add this. Common problem. All right. Um, needs to know what to do. Oh, look, it's moving. Moving when I turn the knob. All right, great. Um, uh, you know, if you want it to move diagonally, you know, you can just add this here. Uh, uh, um, you want it to go the opposite direction? Um, then uh, just, you know, put a minus sign right here. Boring! Let's do something fancy and crazy. All right. Okay. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's head over here. I'm going to just erase this. Delete it. Um, uh, let's go over here. Let's go to the asset that I'm working with. And then we're going to hit. Uh, 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 I'm going to teach you how to add a script. Um, to your components, add component, and then let's go to clack motion, Brownian motion. This thing is fun, fun, fun. Uh, 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 so uh, let's uh, you know turn the amplitude up to like seven, and then let's give it uh, a little more scale so it kind of moves throughout the entire screen. And let's just do it, see what it does by itself. Whoa! Where are you?
you gonna go, little guy? It's almost like you're alive, deciding what direction to go. You're so confused. All right, cool. Um, uh, 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 but let's 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 make that motion uh, part of the music. Let's make it rhythmical. Um, uh, let's see here. So. Um, let's just set, ignore this knob input for a second. Uh, and let's, let's give it a float filter. And let's connect the value. Oh, this is the snare one over here. I'm going to connect the value of that to this. And then let's have a look at it. Uh, and let's let's give it some amplitude. Um, uh, 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 three, I guess. Yeah, sure. Um, and uh, uh, let's go back over here and let's add a um, uh, float out. Um, this is the, uh, oh wait, uh, uh, output, generic, float out. Float outs are really cool. It lets you access all kinds of uh, stuff. Um, let's have a look at it in the inspector. And you can see it gets all these different components. Let's, um, let's go to our component that we're working in. It defaults to transform, but like, hey, Look over here. Let's let's go to the Brownian motion that we added to it, and um, then let's select a property of that. Let's let's do um, position frequency. Yeah, yeah, position frequency. Let's do that one. What's going on outside? I think it's an airstrike. All right. Um, Hey, oh, look, it's doing it when the snare does the thing. It's like, it's crazy. It's dancing around. Boom, boom. Uh, cool. Um, uh, uh, like I said, sometimes value is weird. Sometimes it doesn't respond. It responds differently in Unity than it does in the app. Uh, um, so... Let's make that adjustable. Um, so we, we've got our knob input here. Uh, let's disconnect this, move, move these guys over just a little bit. And then uh, let's create mixing, float mix. So now, the initial input is going to be the value from the snare thing. And then we're going to mix the value of the knob input as the modulator for that. And then let's connect this here. Now let's look at the float mix here. Um, uh, let's change our modulation type from add to multiply. So now the knob is going to multiply the amount of snare input into that next float filter thingy. Okay, all right, so uh, do I need to add anything else here? Let's see, do I need to look at the full Yeah, okay, it's all working good, let's uh, thingy. So that's all the way off. Now I turn it up. It starts happening more. And you turn it back down again. It stops happening so much. This is how I got my dragon to move around. Uh, all right, cool. Thanks a lot.